Hey everybody, welcome back to the Inhabit Mars channel. Today we are going to take a look at this video that uh, Chris put out yesterday? No, day before yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, I was going to do the moon video. I'm still working on it. That Apollo 10 image is really hard to bring the stuff out on because um, I, the image is just so blurry. Well, not blurry, but just kind of obfuscated and you can't get any detail. Um, it's like, um, for some reason, I, okay, they took these images with a Hasselblad camera. Now, if you know anything about the Hasselblad cameras, they're the... Uh, either one of the best or the best cameras in the world at the time and they're analog cameras and if you're as long as you're using decent film which i'm sure they were um you're going to come out with some really crisp clean images now will we get ever get those images no so we got to work with what we got and try to bring some of those objects out are uh next to impossible so this is the uh this is the original right yes uh make sure i get the right image okay so this is the original image and uh, the reason i went ahead and picked this one uh i call this jimmy's machine over here because jimmy roberts is a the real jimmy roberts one is the first one i've seen talk about this uh piece right here and actually explain it and he showed it in the x3d and it was pretty cool if i could find that video i'm going to link it uh to this so i'll be looking for that before i upload this and hopefully i can find it but this thing is pretty cool uh we're going to look at that um we're going to look at this piece here i just i call it the wedge it looks pretty cool um this one, I just call it a trough. I don't know what it is. But in front of it, and I thought this was all one piece at first, but it's not. It's actually two separate pieces. Uh, we're going to look at this drum right here. And even in this original image, you kind of see that this is, uh, well, it's flat on top, and it's corrugated around, all right? So it's got this corrugation going around it, and it's wider in the middle. We're going to look at that. We're going to look at this thing, uh, which looks like a vehicle, but if it is a vehicle it's pretty small we're not that far from the rover the rover is obviously down here and it's taken this image of these and these objects are pretty close because the image doesn't break up very much when you zoom into them so i don't think these are very far so i don't think this is a vehicle but it kind of looks like a, a humvee or something you know <laughs> hey i guess it's a martian hummer i don't know and then this once again i thought this was part of that part of this object but it's actually a separate uh dome piece and we'll look at that and there's some other pieces like this piece in here we'll take a look at uh but i want to point out something and chris pointed this out in his video and i'm gonna point it out also because i tried burning through this the same way he did and you just get a lot of um artifacts in the image and what's interesting is, see this dirt area right here? The only place you get those artifacts is right in here. So this is a texture that's been added, and it's covering up something. And I seriously wish we could find out what was underneath here. Was there water underneath here? Was it a roadway? I think Chris was saying this was, he thought it might be some sort of roadway. But whatever it is, these uh, rocks or structures, which they do look like structures when I show you the enhanced, uh, they kind of look like structures, especially this. This looks like one big structure. All right. So let's take a look at the enhanced image. This is the enhancement that I did. And <coughs> his may still be a little better, but I'm getting better at uh enhancing these so okay i'm gonna go first to that dirt area so i want you to notice i'm gonna get in as close as i can everything around it it looks decently clear it's obviously a little blurry because it's in the background but right here where that dirt texture was 
And just so you know, I'm showing you right. Let's go up here, get close in here. All right, this is that area, and this is how it came out. It's the only place, you can see all these artifacts in here, and they bleed over a little bit into the stuff in the foreground, and I think that's how they were trying to uh, fade it into the actual stuff, but you only get these artifacts right where that dirt area was. You can still see uh, these, uh, this structure on the hilltop uh, pretty decently clear for the distance, but right here, all them little squares, that is a texture that was painted on this to cover up something. The only thing that came out in my burn was this right here, which kind of looks like a structure, but I can't be for certain. And this piece here. Other than that, everything else is in the original, including this rock or whatever standing up here. So I just want to show you. Yeah, this image was manipulated just like the rest. All right, so this is... <laughs> Jimmy Roberts, the real Jimmy Roberts machine right here. And you can see this little lever right here, and I'm going to show you what that looks like on our 3D model. Uh, you can see these little pieces going across. This is a, obviously a rectangle right here. And there's little um, cylinder that go across, and it looks like what square boxes. And then this could be a dial or a pipe coming out. I, I don't know. Uh, but it's got a round base and a half moon shape right here. Can I get in any closer? Hey, stop. Um, and then a little pipe or something coming out there. So it might be a dial. It might be a little pipe or whatever. This is some sort of machine. I don't know what it is, but it's something. And the real Jimmy Roberts pointed this out in another image. And I don't think it was in the same area. It might have been. Uh, the rover spent a little bit of time in this whole area. So it might be the same thing from a different angle. Um, I don't remember, but I'll try to find that video and link his video to it. Okay, so here's this wedge piece. And it's got this on the front. You can kind of see some sort of valve or dial. Quiet, honey. And uh, I think my daughter wants to be in the video. Oh, come here. Mm. Come here, Alara. Let me see if I can move over. How come you're naked? You better go put your chonis on. Where's your chonis? Right there. Get your chonis. Anyway, um, so uh, here's this wedge piece. It's got this round cylinder piece right here. You can see it's actually lighter than the other material. And then I couldn't tell if these three things were square or round. Went ahead and model them as round because they do kind of have uh, a round look to them. Okay, also, here's what I call the trough and then this corrugated, um, thank you, this corrugated drum right here. Uh, I thought these were one object, but looking at it closer, these are two separate objects. This one is in front of this one. This is some sort of... Um, oval shaped dome it actually has a teardrop shape to it this is the base of it and then it, it's tilted over obviously uh and that's the top part of it i'll show you what that looks like and this what i call the, the humvee um but it's i don't think it's a vehicle i think it's just it's something that's not just a rock uh just looking at the shape the the back goes uh at an angle backwards this is almost straight up and down uh, it's got this piece that, uh, comes out. Sit down, sweetheart. Sit down. And, uh, and then this part actually looks like it's curved around on the edges, like this edge. And it would be this edge, too, if it was. Uh, and then these parts stick out like headlights on an old vehicle or something. <laughs> so, um, oh, this piece here. This is a hexagonal shape. Um, this part right here is open, and this part has a couple of pieces on it. Alara, leave that stuff alone. Okay, so let's go to Blender. All right, so here's the same image 
Just leave it. I'll pick it up in a minute. All right, let's unhide. Make sure everything's unhidden. Uh, this is the second time recording this. I uh, kind of messed up the first time. All right, I'll get it in a minute. Don't worry about it. Okay, so let's start with uh, Jimmy's machine over here. So here's his machine. Watch your hands, sweetie. Okay. So this is that uh, piece right here. And you can see it's got this uh, rectangular piece down here at the bottom. And then it's got these uh, pieces that come across. And then it's got this piece right here that's right there. That's right here. And it actually is on some sort of pin. It goes across, so it's like this would be some sort of thing that you, you press on. Uh, maybe you start the machine, maybe this lifts up and you push a button. I don't know. I modeled one in there just because it probably is, but I couldn't tell you for sure. You can kind of see it there in the shadow. And then this piece. Now, I don't know if this was a pipe coming out or this was part of a dial or what, but that's what that one looks like. And it seems like it's hollow on top. If you look back at the image, you can see that hole right here. All right. There's the round um, top piece to it. And then it's got what looks like a hole in the middle. So it kind of looks like that. All right. So that's that piece. Mm. But like I say, Jimmy Roberts, the real Jimmy Roberts one, was the first one that I remember pointing that out. Or that's the first video I saw where someone was pointing it out. Okay, here's this wedge piece. That's pretty cool. You can see that dial or whatever right here. And it's on some sort of square base. Looks like that. It's going to be, let's hide these. We'll come back to those as we're clipping through it. And there's those round pieces on top. Okay. This is what I call the trough. Hide. Hide. And let's hide this. Okay, so there's that piece right here. And it's got these, you see that little wedge piece sticking out right here? Let me see if I can show you what that looks like. Kind of looks like that. And I think there's actually one closer to the front over here. Now, this is where this piece ends and that drum begins right along this edge. Oops, don't bump me. I'm trying to draw a straight line. All right, and it's, you can see these ridges on the back side of it. So I went ahead and modeled some ridges back here. That's kind of what that looks like. Mm. Control Z, 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 Z. Okay, let's hide you now. Watch your head. And there's that corrugated drum. There you go, right there. Right there. That's it. That's kind of what it looks like. All right. That's that piece. Control C. It needs to come down a little bit, doesn't it? Okay. Let's hide him. Okay. Let's see. Hey, stop. Stop. You're moving the mouse. Okay, here's this piece here. This is some sort of uh, teardrop shape uh, domed piece. It looks like this. 
It's kind of got a teardrop shape. Now, I haven't put any subdivisions on this yet. Uh, but, uh, so it's going to look a little blocky. But it'd be real smooth going around it, all right? So don't uh, mind the blockiness right now. But that's what that piece looks like. And I'm going to make a lighter material. In fact, I already made it. I just got to apply it to the bottom. So it just looks, with the way the sun's shining on it, it looks a little uh, lighter right there. Let's hide you. Let's bring back... Oh my gosh, my eyesight's so bad. There it is. Okay. So, stop pushing on the computer. Alright, so this is <laughs> what I call the Humvee. Don't stand her up, yeah. Um, this is a shape that it has. And, uh, once again, this teardrop shape dome is blocking the right, well, it'd be the left side of it because it's facing us. At least I think it is. And uh, this is kind of what that looks like. It's got that slope back on it. You can just see a little bit of it in the image. Um, and I don't think it's a car. I think it's too small to be a car unless the people were a lot smaller than us on Mars. Well, not a lot, but a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool right there. That's that piece there. I don't know if it's a car, honey. Okay, the wedge we looked at. Oh, yeah, this piece here. How are we doing on time? Doing good. Okay, this piece here is it's some sort of shiny metal. At least I think it's metal, but it's it's a shiny, very shiny material. You can see, based on the rocks around it, it's even shinier than that. Oh. All right, hold on, because you're in my headphone. Okay. So it's uh, this, uh, like, uh, metallic material. It's got this piece up here. Looks like you'd grab it, you know, with your finger. You stick your finger in and lift it up off of something maybe it's a lid for something and it's halfway open because you can see the stuff behind it back here but then it's got a face that goes across here and this piece so and then it's got these uh hexagonal shapes here and i imagine it's on the other side you can see just a little bit of it but the rest of it's being blocked by that wedge shape but that's what uh this is can we see you there you are baby hi so that's that piece there. Hmm, that's not lined up right now. What happened? There we go. It's closer. Uh, let's see while we're at it. I already had to move one object. I swear objects move around. Okay, this one. Now, I am going to go back to the image for a minute. And I'm going to show you this. Everybody, when they looked at this image, obviously the focus was up here on this piece here. In fact, let me go back to the image and let's explain. Enhanced. Okay. And I don't blame them because this is one of the first things I saw was this. And that's the first thing I modeled was Jimmy's machine. All right. Uh, and there's more stuff around it that doesn't look like rocks, of course. Ask NASA. They'll tell you it's just pareidolia. You're just seeing rocks. Calm down. Nothing to see here. But everybody focused on that, and then a few people focused down here. But the thing that really caught my attention next was this piece here. Okay, so there's a base right here. You can see there's the corner, and then it comes across uh, perpendicular to you. All right? It's got this pipe that comes out of the top, comes across, comes around, and then this flanged piece right here. See how this pipe goes in that flanged piece? That was the first couple things I noticed. I said, hmm, strange. Okay. Then, you can just barely see it, but there's a circular piece right here, and this actually looks like a metal heat shield that you'd put on an engine uh, to keep, you know, from accidentally brushing against the hottest parts of this, if it's an engine. And then, you see this cylinder right here? And it's got this slot at the top, like this is either for exhaust, maybe it's a baffle, 
or maybe it is an intake of some sort, but it actually kind of looked like it's got holes in here. You can't make out enough detail, but it definitely is extruded inward right there at this top piece. But then I noticed this pipe coming out here. And uh, this is also corrugated. This goes out and then in. And then it comes out at the top and then curves around towards you here. These were the things I noticed. And did I say this oval uh, piece in here was just very, very hard to make out. In fact, no, you can't even really make it out at all uh, through OBS. And I'm sure once I upload it to YouTube, it'll be a little harder to make out. But okay, that thing, somebody tell me that's a rock. But that caught my eye, and I was like, now that looks cool. That looks like some sort of little engine. Maybe it's a Martian Briggs and Stratton engine or something. Okay, back to Blender. So here's that piece. Once again, same thing. All right, there's that cylinder there. There's the pipe here. Let's see what this guy looks like. So this is what I modeled it as. And it was hard to make out some of this stuff, but it was there. There's that heat shield or whatever. And uh, here's that one cylinder that that where that heat shield is covering. And uh, then uh, I don't know if these are slotted. It kind of looked like it in the image, but you can't make out enough detail to be sure. But I went ahead and did that. And then this pipe here, I don't know where it connects, but it goes down this side somewhere. So I imagine it connects at the bottom or the next part up, or maybe, um, or maybe up here somewhere. I don't know, but uh, all right. So that's that piece. Uh, have I missed anybody? Let's see. Got the drum. Got that. Got that. So we obviously got more stuff to model in here, but I figured I'd get this out because I figured this is about 20 minutes. So, all right, you girls want to say goodbye to everybody? Come here, Alara. At least you got underwear on now. Oh, the two-year-old is, is actually doing real good with potty chain. Yeah, bye, everybody. Say, don't forget. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, guys, we shall see you on the next video. We'll probably continue with this one. I'm still trying to work out that stuff with that Apollo 10. I wish it could be clearer. You wanna say bye, Aurora? Oh, okay, Aurora said bye. We'll see y'all on the next video.